Alrighty, so this video is going to be about um, fears that I have for my second child. And um, the first one would be that I would have to have another C-section. And um, I'm taking measures to prevent that, of course. Um, I've been researching online, looking things up, and um, searching for a doctor who would be very supportive of a VBAC. And you can check that out on my channel, Inspire a VBAC, which I made that channel about four or five months ago now. I only have a couple of subscribers, but um, you can check that channel out if you're interested. Um, my second fear would be that um, I would have breastfeeding problems again. I had a lot of breastfeeding issues with Ella. She would not latch on correctly. Um, and just um, my supply was great. I mean, I had a lot of milk, but um, she wouldn't latch on. I really wanted to just breastfeed her. Then when I went back to work, um, I was working night shift at the time, so I couldn't really breastfeed her at night, so I just put her on a bottle with breast milk. Um, and I breastfed her all the way to 10 months, so which I'd like to go to a year this time. And um, that is my goal. So hopefully I will succeed at that. And my third fear is um, having postpartum depression again. I just don't uh, want that again. And if I don't, if I'm unable to have a VBAC or if I'm unable to breastfeed, I know that that's going to um, trigger it. I believe because this is that is what triggered it last time so I am I'm really hoping that my first two fears don't come true I don't want a c-section and I hope that the next baby will latch on successfully um, and there's lactation consultants of course that can help me but um, just hopefully I, I won't have any of those problems this time and if I do then I know um, of course with um, postpartum depression I really just kept kept it to myself and so this next time if I do have postpartum depression or feel that I'm going into it um, I will definitely tell my doctor about it um, it's more or less like uh, the way I felt was it was just embarrassing to tell someone that I had postpartum depression so next time I, I am going to tell my doctor I'm even gonna tell my doctor when I get pregnant, I'm going to tell them that I have postpartum depression with my first pregnancy so that they know and um, so that when I do tell them, if I have to tell them again, it won't be a surprise to them. So anyways, um, and they'll know that I did have postpartum depression in the past. So I think that's about it. Um, if you have any questions for me, just let me know.